Friends, today we will tell you what is the importance of instrumentation in thermal power plant. Today, from this video, you will also understand the controlling of thermal power plant. Friends, thermal power plants generate electricity. And, instrumentation is important in monitoring and controlling of these plants. It is used to monitor, control, and optimize the operations so that the power generation process remains efficient and safe. Let us understand how instrumentation works in a thermal power plant. The first one is monitoring and control. Thermal power plants are complex systems. Here, to generate electricity, fuel is combusted. Steam boilers are used. Steam turbines are used. And alternators are used. Instrumentation monitors the plant. Such as boilers, turbines, generators, or alternators. And emissions. Through this monitoring, the operation of the power plant is controlled. This system not only does monitoring and control. Apart from this, it has another amazing function. And, that is centralized monitoring. Every thermal power plant has a control room. Control room is very important for efficient operation and safety of thermal power plant. From the power plant control room, every area of the power plant is centrally monitored. And, it is a control center from where the performance of the power plant is tracked. The screens here display live data, alarms, and graphs, which help track thermal power plant performance and safety. Next is boiler control. Boiler operations are done from the control room. Boiler parameters such as steam temperature, steam pressure, drum level, and fuel flow rate are monitored from control room instrumentation. If some abnormalities are detected, the person operating the boiler in the control room, be it an operator or an engineer, can take immediate action. If any parameter goes outside the set limits, the instrumentation system generates an alarm. Also activates safety interlocks and Apart from this, necessary actions are also taken. Next is turbine and generator control. Turbines and generators are also monitored and controlled from the control room. The speed of the turbine, voltage and frequency of the generator are displayed on the screen in the control room various parameters of the turbine like temperature pressure vibrations are also shown on the screen if any parameter exceeds its limits or lower down the control system or operators can take corrective action instrumentation system ensures that the turbine is stable and efficient Next and most important is the combustion control. Combustion means setting fuel on fire is a critical and important process. There must be a correct mix of fuel, oxygen and ignition source. In this process, the fuel is ignited and heat is generated which is stored in the boiler. The boiler converts water into steam with the heat generated from it. If combustion is not controlled, the rate or speed of fire and temperature of the fire become uncontrolled, which impacts boiler performance and safety. Combustion control reduces fuel wastage and controls emissions. Combustion control also increases boiler efficiency. Next is emissions control. Instrumentation system in the control room also monitors emission levels. 
To comply with environmental standards, emission sensors are installed at various points in the power plant. If the emission limits are exceeded, the control room operator senses it and takes appropriate action. Next is safety systems. It is also very important aspect. Instrumentation monitors safety systems and generates alarms in emergency situations thereby preventing accidents it is because of the safety system that safety precautions such as boiler trips turbine trips safety interlocks and other emergency shutdown systems are taken next is data analysis instrumentation in the control room is also used for data analysis historical data is collected against which power plant performance can be evaluated you can see trends on scada you can view data and trends of any parameters two days four days ten days ago next is communication hub power plant control rooms often work simultaneously with various plant departments and external engineers as a communication hub Instrumentation shares real-time data, enabling faster decision-making. The control that we have seen so far in thermal power plants is possible only due to some systems. Come let's see these two instruments and sensors. Instruments and sensors are used for combustion control and other controls. These sensors monitor various temperatures, pressures, oxygen levels, flow, flue gas temperature, and fuel supply. Next is feedback loop. Combustion control system. Turbine, steam boiler, and other control systems work on a feedback loop. Sensors collect data and provide feedback to the control system. Control systems, based on these feedbacks, then regulate various parameters. Next, and most important is, optimizing control. With the help of control systems, combustion and other processes are optimized. This means that the required temperature, pressure, level, flow, oxygen levels, and other parameters are maintained which also increases the efficiency of the complete system. If you have any questions or suggestions please share it with us. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and share the video.